Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck! What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again and welcome back to Metro Exodus. When last we left off, we made our way through the pirate stamp. <laughs> pirate stamp. That pirate damp den. <laughs> we made our way through the pirate den, snuck through. It was very fucking nerve-wracking. And luckily we managed to get a upgrade or two as we went through and collect some flaws as we went. And it was hard to get through. I honestly thought that I could get shot as I was escaping the pirate's den. But moving on, we have just made our way through the swamp and we have made our way to apparently nearby some service tunnels as RTM had commented before. As they commented in like when you're reloading a game or whatever. Because I was checking the loads to make sure it was still there. We still have a load there. We're good to go. So we can go ahead and jump back into it. I'm pretty excited. It says we're going to be going through some service tunnels. I miss the tunnels, I'm not going to lie, and the beginning of this game, when we were in the metro, it was really pretty, and as dank as it is, but the game beautifully captures the dark and depressing and claustrophobic cavern, you know, claustrophobic caverns, claustrophobic caverns, Jesus Christ, that are actually in the game, it's nice, so let's go ahead and jump back into it. This has been a really pretty level, and like any level before it, I'm sad to see it go. The dam seems to be one stretch of a hand away now. I must make haste. I doubt the Aurora will be able to wait for long. All right. Well, you heard him. Our save should be right where we wanted it to be. I have a feeling we're going to have to have a gas mask for these tunnels. It would pay to have that upgrade on the suit activated for the, the gas mask. Did I jump? It's a lot darker than I remember. Eight fifteen. I guess it's morning after all. I really love that they show these postmodern war tanks. Well, modern at the time when it was modern, considering this is in the future. Yeah, I do feel like we potentially could have missed some stuff. Old suitcases. <sighs> Let me have just one more look, guys. Forgive me. Sunken houses. This used to be one big mining operation. Or well, not mining, but logging operation. I'm satisfied with where we are, though. I don't know, should we Let's check our weapons real quick? One med kit. Let's make one more. We're pretty low on cleaning supplies. Shotgun's as good as it's gonna be. I like the eight shot cylinder. Six seems to be better. Close quarters. Stability. Yeah, if we really get into some trouble, we'll deal with that that way. We also have our bow. Everything's pretty gross. I'm just going to deal with it as we go. Look at that big bastard. I wonder if we're going to go up to this actual... I'm not going to lie, I'm a little... <laughs> you don't say. <laughs>
pretty fucking gross. This is eerie as fuck. Where is he? Where are they seeing supplies at? Oh, he's like covered in sludge. I could barely see him. I recall this. Yeah, you guys fuck off. <laughs> I guess we should search carefully, considering we need the resources. Hello. Pretty gross. Pretty damn gross. Wonder how our team feels about getting back to tunnels. Okay. <laughs> I've missed tunnels. As shitty as that might sound. They're like right above me. My power is not working. Oh. What is this? Oh, fuck me. What no? Get these torches lit! Oh, this is fucking creepy. This is reminding me of the old games. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Nothing's working. Nothing's working. Oh, fuck!
Not gonna lie. A little nerve wracking. Oh my god, this is fucked up! Die, bitch! Oh my god. This is completely fucked. Some kind of vent. It's a giant spider's nest. This must be what they were talking about. Die, you piece of shit! Good. Burn them all. <laughs> this is so fucked up, you guys. Light the torches. Oh my fucking god. Holy fuck. I guess it was worth. This whole room is just filled with nasty shit. We just kind of backtrack. The fact that they're making us use our lighter, but that is awfully nice of a throwback. Yeah, we light as many torches as we can, really. We're fine without the gas mask here. I kind of figured that was the case. Because I couldn't hear Artyom gasping. It always gives you a minute or so. The fucked up babies are gawking at me. Yes! Light the torches. Yeah. Y'all can just crawl around! <laughs> Burn them all! <laughs> Fuck!
Only a cruel <laughs> group of people make you go through this bullshit. I'm not particularly scared of spiders. But, being in close proximity with giant ones... Worth it. Worth burning them. Yeah, these service tunnels. This whole level is fucked. Fucking nasty, dude! Oh, there's no torches in that hallway. Oh, that's gross. Get that torch lit! Oh, this is an old station. I feel like we're back in the damn metro, guys. We were back in the fucking metro. Come on, come on. Whoa, fuck! <laughs> Oops. Wow, that's fucked. Oh, that is so fucked. Let's try this again. Okay, <laughs> so now we're back where we died. This looks like a station. Woo! <laughs> so that torch is keeping them in their place. Burn you motherfuckers! <laughs> we'll just let him crisp up for a second. This is gross. Oh. Oh, hello. We'll take it. So the torches hurt them a lot, but not as much as concentrated light, like from a flashlight. We've got a lot of supplies, though. Too bad we don't have our beloved Tikhar. Fuck it. There we go. It's dead no matter what, so he'll just... Will, he, will that? Will he really do that? Will he like crank it constantly? That's too cool. <laughs> Burn, bitches. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are in a straight-up tunnel. Just like the old days, boys and girls. I love it, though. We're burning a swath right through this nasty hive. Made me do a Chucky laugh. 
Hey, a torch. Hey, girl. All the shrieks. Oh. Gross. Can't push this, can we? All right. We're going through. Oh, God. One's going to snap at her face. I know he's going to snap at her face. I just know he is. One of the females. Burn, bitch. Oh, my God. Let her get close if she wants to. Die, bitch! There we go. Holy fuck. Here we go. I guess we need this gas for something. Well, we might. But that gas isn't going to be what we use. Oh, great. Well, this is a good place for us to make some supplies. We have... We can't make Molotovs here. We're going to need potentially one more med kit. I don't want to risk using it because I'm going to need it later. Well. Yeah, I'm going to make some now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I really don't want to use it. Well, if there's anything inside that large egg sack at the top, because I think the top one hatches a spider. And I really don't want to deal with it. I definitely can't get them. We're straight up in a we're in a straight up lost bunker. Okay, something bad's gonna happen. There's a big blast door, they're giving us all kinds of supplies. Yeah, I thought there was a book.
Okay. Okay. This one got stuff in it. Yep. That's what we need. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'll be up to dam once I clear this maze of surface tunnels. I have the fuel now. I just have to start the generator to open the way out. They know. They're like, don't let them escape. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Shit gets really bad. We're using the Molotov, but let's try not to. Mad dash. All right. <laughs> this is going to wake the whole damn place up. I know it is. <laughs> this is fucking awful, but I love that we're back in the tunnels. This is awesome. Crick. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Wait a minute. Is there a diary or anything in here? Well, this is part of the Tiaga, so. Alright, here we go. I like that the journal lights up. Hello there. Let's go back to the safety of this area real quick. Oh god, this part is just so beautiful too. Alright, collectibles, diary, blood-soaked letter. There was no rail car up there. Why do we even think it would be? Sure, the marauders used to come here, but wouldn't they leave someone to guard it? So when that someone understood the others were not going to come back, he just left with it. And it looks like we're not coming back either. The spiders were just making noises in the dark corners while we were going there, but on the way back, they pounced as soon as we shut the gate. Not that coming back would do us any good. Roman is not forgive the forgiving type. Oh, shit. Well, that makes sense that these would be the guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Leoda. Leoda would be able to talk him into letting us get back but she had her mind set on leaving and she left on foot no less gotta admire her guts but she's still she's crazy then again she could actually get somewhere it's time the spiders are close farewell everyone wow wow what a grim fucking fate Oh, gross. I do like that we have these back, though. A workbench? That means some bullshit's about to happen, guys. Don't we know it? Cleaning bench. All oh, my weapons are so fucking filthy. Wow. Yep. <laughs> that works too, I guess. Well, can I make more Molotovs, though? There's more likely spiders on this side, too. Oh man, that is not worth it. We're going to have to make one work. 
NVD amplifier. This night vision system combines two technologies, heat vision and visible light amplification, battery charge controller. We'll do that for the batteries, extra bright flashlight. I think we're doing extra bright and just burn the shit out of them. That's what we'll do. I'm pretty happy with the weapon selection we got so far, and it seems that, uh, metal detector. I like the compass and the motion scanner. That's kind of pointless, though. It's better to have the stuff that gives us supplies. I've always kept that on me. Okay. Supplies. Hell yeah. I think we're good. What do you guys think? Uh, are you guys seeing this? That's a no salus. I'm surprised he didn't say anything. Is he dead? The spiders got him hung up. You know what that means. We haven't seen one of these in the game yet. Brace yourselves and get ready for battle, kids. Anybody know what that says right there? I have the sign subtitles coming up, but they're not quite working for me. Here we go. The bear is just above us. Last door there. There's a fire. Cave in. Here we go. We can so we can go back. Yep, we don't need to be here. Had a little guy. And look at that. The mini spider just chilling. All I'm trying to do is make sure I don't miss stuff. The rats aren't even afraid of us. They're like, eh, you're an idiot for staying here. We could probably check our stuff real quick. If we absolutely had to. We could go back downstairs and double check everything. We could honestly clean the guns if we really wanted to. Surface soon. All right, upstairs we go, you guys. I'm really enjoying this level. Oh, all the roots and great. <gasps> Alyosha. Let's double check all our corners, make sure we're not missing anything. I 
I don't think there's anything meant for us to collect here. This is the part from the trailer. Come get some, Artyom. Damn, you're alive. I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. This is fucking beautiful. Let's go, Artyom. Whoa. Hear the counter react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Holy shit, I was right. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. Whoa. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well, see that zip line? Those kids built it back when there wasn't as much seepage. Wow. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom. Don't rush me. That is a lot of fun. This is the part from the trailer, and it's so exciting to finally see it. We can't go back in, of course. This dude's body just wasted away. Wow. It's so fucking surreal to finally see what we saw in the trailer, you know, almost two years ago. That's crazy. There's the Fallen Hind. Very signature, and seeing the Fallen Hind's almost... I don't know, it's like the both the Metro and the Stalker series. Is there something over there? Sure seems like it, doesn't it, guys? Aw, sadness. I wonder if there's anything in this village. That door means there's gonna be a damn bear, I guarantee you. Man, I gotta tell you, I met this awesome girl here. She's drop-dead gorgeous. Name's Olga, an instructor. Everyone respects her. Plus, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love at first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your proof. Good. He won't move on without me. Hold on a second. She was so smitten. She even walked with me. And you know, this is something new for me. We'll move in a second. I want to. Ch well, the Colonel's an asshole. I love him, but he's an asshole. I just want to search all these houses. I'm just kind of afraid I'll miss something if I don't. Let's clear this house first. Unfinished letter. Roman, then I could still hope there was real life somewhere out there. 
behind the dam and those and the guys would be alive. Now I know what's out there. It's a sea, endless of radioactive water. All the pus of this gangrious, gangrenous world is gathered there to one day flood the tiny sandbox that was our universe for so many years. The dam won't last long. The reservoir used to be so much smaller, and now I walked for a week and didn't see the end of it. If you find this letter, please tell the others in the valley. Then again, what's the point? It's not like there's anywhere they could go. Everything is coming to an end, just like the gas in my lamp. I don't want the spiders to get me. The whole thing seems so stupid now. Alex, I'm sorry. Wow, dude. Nobody gets a fucking break. I don't like this feeling, Artyom. Neither do I. This beast I saw. A bear the size of a freaking house. I think it smelled us. This bridge has seen better days. We kept our Molotov. Did Alyosha make it? Is it because I crossed at the same time? You alive there? Huh? What the hell? Goddamn. Oh, fuck! Run, Alyosha! Everything's falling apart, dude! I don't know if there's any way to actually stop this. Kicked ourselves up. I guess I have to fight this piece of shit. Bitch. Eat it, motherfucker. Bitch. Can I jump back over there? How do I deal with this piece of shit? I'm 
confused. I'm confused! Holy fuck, dude! Okay, I get it. Right in his eye! Holy shit! Holy fuck! Well, Artyom, help me here! Let's restore this line's tension! Yes! Yes! We're done. I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alush. I can't just stop and live like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Damn! Let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! Here we go! Let's do this! Miller! You guys really had us worried. Anna is in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Alyosha! We got him back, baby. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! Fuck. Wow, what a chapter the taiga was, and I finally learned how to say the name somewhat correctly towards the end. It's spooky towards the end there, and in the end we, we ended up killing the bear. We ended up putting it fairly much in its place, and uh, I think the craziest part about it was that we were fighting the bear through the whole game. So not only did we get rid of the bear that was pretty much terrorizing the children of the forest, as I think they're doubly called, we managed to get through it non-lethally, except for with those bastard bandits and other people that were dealing with them. But as soon as we got up to the dam, I knew that when I zoomed in on the dam, you can see that green hue, and I think it's supposed to catch your eye. I think you're supposed to see it. Otherwise, the developers wouldn't have had you see it that early. <sighs> wow, dude. Everything about that level. That wasn't a super long chapter. Probably is going to be around the same as my normal 45-minute ones, if not less. And the spiders, and the fact that our light wasn't working. Those weird sections where your power just won't work. Those spooky sections, I, it feels like, really feels like we're diving back into the metro for a second there. And that was interesting. And just burning our way through that small hive of those arachnids was really interesting. And then dealing with the master of the forest, seeing Olga. Alyosha clearly is in love. And we saved Alyosha. And we got the Sword of Damocles achievement. And we got a lot of achievements. We did really good. Sword of Damocles was finishing the taiga. But all the children of the forest, he warned them to get out of the valley. Because that radiation is going to take them down. And they weren't bad people. And the fact that we got through and he didn't get hurt. He would have been hurt by that bear, I think. And really fucked up. If we didn't play it right non-lethally. Because something happens to your crew members. You get punished. Had we not handled the Caspian in a non-lethal way, Demir probably wouldn't have stayed with us. I knew that after I did the level. I looked it up to see the alternative. I wanted to know after I beat it. Duke. Why would we want to lose Duke? He's so young. He still has so much to live for. And to see him die in the story really would have bothered me, especially with all the effort we put into it. And to add to that, Alyosha, like him, I really love him to death. I don't want anything to happen to him either. I would rather see him settle for someone and you find someone so that's what you do you care about these characters so guys if you like the video feel free to hit like 
If you did not, leave a dislike with a reason why. This video was interesting. I love when we came out of the tunnels and you saw that part that you saw in the original trailer, the door that RDM shoots, shoots, and then he shoots. The door that RDM shuts whenever he's running away from those watchmen. Too fucking cool. And when I saw the train, I was like, but the one difference is in the trailer, Anna puts her, puts her hand out and grabs you, but not here. She's too damn sick. And that was a part of the story in the first place because that bunker she fell in back of the Volga. Remember the Volga months ago? Yeah. Guys, I have loved this level, the Taiga. We did it non-lethally, and we earned plenty of achievements. We didn't get every journal and every postcard, but they're in places I probably missed, or I went into places and missed them. So, we are moving on, and the next season, as it was confirmed, because I had to quit the game for the menu, is Autumn. So we will check out that chapter. I will be recording it tomorrow as soon as I get off from work. So, guys, until next time, this has been Metro Exodus in the Taiga. We are moving on to the autumn season, and I guess we'll be moving into Novo Zabirsk. But into the future we go. Until next time, guys, this has been Metro Exodus. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you stalkers and all of you Spartans in the next video. Bye, guys.